I was lucky enough to uh, catch an early sneak peek of the newest trailer that's releasing. And I guess I got to ask right off the bat, John, um, I have to know about the flying cars. I mean, it looks like maybe we finally go to space. I mean, what was your reaction to sort of seeing the Fast series finally go the biggest kind of level that they can reach? So they say perspective is everything. And I look at this in a different perspective. I think the success of the Fast films is commitment to family storyline, uh, embracing diversity, delivering all the qualities of an over-the-top blockbuster, and the last one, most importantly, not taking itself too seriously. And I think moments like that, that absolutely work in the narrative, trust me, what you see in the trailer will be explained and, and has method and reason. But that's one of those moments, and Fast does it so well, where they, they wink at the camera without winking at the camera. The fans of Fast have such a great relationship with the movies. They've created the ability for the, the Fast family to be superheroes without capes. They don't have to have any inherited natural superpowers. Fans just give them, they just acquiesce. Like that's what's gonna happen because we've come to expect it. And I think Fast does a good job of taking you on a ride, but in the moments that it needs to, it winks at the camera. And I think this is one of those special moments that'll It'll give people a laugh. Um, it'll also allow that audience to to be okay with the things that we do do in the franchise. I'm I'm so excited. You look so great in the trailer. So another fun thing uh, in the trailer are magnets. How did they? Because we we know that Fast is famous for practical effects. Like, what was what? Do you have? Did you have sort of like a personal reaction to magnets, like maybe as like a kid? So my best experience with magnets as a kid is making um, rather questionable terms off of refrigerator magnets that uh, collected the alphabet or, the, or comprised the alphabet. But uh, I, I think it's a great explanation of how fast uses tech to drive narrative. It doesn't just use it for the for the fact that it exists. They always sit down and ask, "What's the story?" And then they ask what they haven't done. And then they ask what's possible. And then they ask what seems impossible. And they make the impossible possible. And I think just the fact that they even considered using magnetic polarity instead of bullets is really interesting. And it makes for a fun effect because it is something commonplace, something we see all the time, but make a really effing huge one and some, some chaos could ensue. So I think it's a really creative, inspirational thing. And then the fast always seems to find a way to do those things. We have to talk about magnets for a second. <laughs> Dude, I'm, you're gonna make me walk away, all right? I, can't, I, can't all right? I need a magnet to pull you back. <laughs> you know I love science and I'm a big geek when it comes to that. But you know, at some point you have to like draw the line between feature film and, you know, physics. <laughs> I just, you, yeah, you, you, you mentioned you Propulsion magnetism, let's just ignore <laughs> that for a second. As far as the movie and magnets. I mean, you know, there were many moments where I'm like, dude, there's so many things made of metal that you're passing on the street. Like, come on, guys, <laughs> you know? Uh, but you can't get into that. Oh. At some point, you have to draw the line between entertainment and reality. And that was the one thing that I think happened in the year 2000. It was a line that was drawn in the sand that, that separated the 90s from the 2000s. And it was this line that you're supposed to cross where you're supposed to explain everything in sheer utter detail so that there is no possibility of, of you know, the suspension of belief not, you know, being broken. And so when this happened, it's like, you know, it was the end of the Rambos. It was the end of the, of the you know, of the, um, uh, of those of those amazing movies, uh, Lethal Weapon, you know, where like there, there'll be a moving house and a fight inside the moving house, or the car crashes through the building and lands on the highway. <laughs> yeah, I mean I, those days were pretty much over. But Fast and Furious kind of dances that line between the 1990s and today, and we're the only ones allowed to straddle that line without being completely rejected. I don't know if it's because we make fun of ourselves or because we kind of smile the whole way through. 
<laughs> but for some reason, people let us get away with some shit that they really would not let anybody else get away with. <laughs> and you know what? I accept that. I'm cool with it. <laughs>